I have to admit that this is only remotely connected to NEO. However, the channel is about technology, China and what's going to happen in the future, right? And so this is actually quite interesting. So here's a LinkedIn article that I saw today by one of my connections. And this guy has shared that China has just launched the world's first large fully battery electric container ship. So that's already news by itself because I think it's actually you know, quite interesting to get the whole shipping industry electrified. I mean, there are still many areas that need electrification in my point of view. I'm a regular visitor to Italy and the fact that they still don't have electric scooters in all of the cities and all of the pollution and noise that it's creating is driving me nuts. Back to this article, because what is the link here to NEO? Well, you guessed it, it's about battery swapping. So this cargo ship has actually um, swappable battery units. Each of them are in a 20 foot container. So 36 of the 700 containers on board of this ship are actually batteries that can be swapped. And just to give you a sense of capacity are 50,000 kilowatt hours. So that is the largest installed battery capacity yet placed aboard a ship. In comparison, a Tesla Model 3 long range typically comes with a 82 kilowatt hour battery. So apparently these are some pictures of the ship and I think Think, again, this is not surprising that this is happening in China first. In my point of view, it's kind of a crazy idea, but I love that this is happening and China is going ahead and actually doing stuff instead of just talking about it. I'm actually wondering about a cost benefit analysis of using up 36 of the 700 containers here for batteries and also the complications of putting that much weight on a ship and then still using cargo on it. Um, I would assume that it's not ideal yet and not great. However, uh, that's the way to go and the Chinese are starting with it. And surprise, surprise, it's battery swapping applied in a different sector and maybe somewhat showing China's will and potential here to build up this thing as a whole big industry. Of course, NEO doesn't have a stake in any of that. But on the other hand, I just like such visionary ideas and that China is just pragmatic and executing on it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Does this have a future or not? And will NEO at some point enter the cargo business and have their own shipping fleet? Well, that's not a super serious question, but I hope this little bit of short news did excite you and maybe just entertain you. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.